The judges scoring our next contest hail from Russia, Sri Lanka, Egypt, Thailand, and Puerto Rico. So there is Gan Erdan Gankuyag. His opponent, Rabin Tapa of Nepal. So just taking his time to enter the boxing ring, having arrived some time ago, is Rabin Tapa. Finally up the three steps and in between the ropes. So this one can get underway imminently. So we're underway then, 48 kilogram minimum weight action between boxers from Mongolia and Nepal. The man wearing red, 28 years of age, is Gan Erden Gankuyag. Vastly experienced operator, competed in the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. He was a world championship quarter finalist in his two previous appearances in the senior top competition in 2015 in Doha and 2017 in Hamburg, takes good boxers to eliminate him as well. Bergen Martinez of Colombia, the threshing machine puncher from South America was a man who eliminated him in the 2017 edition in Hamburg. The baby face Southpaw out of the blue corner is Rabin Tapper from Kathmandu. Only started boxing five years ago. This the biggest tournament of his life won plenty of selection tournaments in his homeland. He was a novice national champion in 2018, but here he is in with, anybody, in with somebody who is anything but a novice. The vastly experienced figure of Gan Erden Gankuyag. It's a rather circumspect start, but as the straight left hand was fired in by Tapper, there's a wicked uppercut fired out of the corner by Gankuyag. Solid left hand landed by the man in blue. Showing that he's not going to be overawed or intimidated by the global stage or the accomplishments of his opponent. It was a big swing and a miss with a lead right hand, but then Gankiyag beginning to get to work with good shots to the body of his smaller opponent. But 
keeping his composure and jabbing his way off the strands is Tapper. Going about his work with a smile on his face. Took a solid right hand there. Gankiag just giving the impression that he's boxing within himself. I don't think boxing from this territory or with this comparatively low punch output is going to be enough to take the opening round for Tapper. Because Gankiag is throwing punches in bunches when he gets himself into range. Plenty of fainting between the two, but then again, with Tapper on the ropes, coming square, it presents an opportunity for Gankiag to work away with a cluster of punches. So the first round in the book, Rabin Tapper. Quitting himself well, but I don't think he will have done enough to take the opening round. Ganoden Gankiag just settling into his work as the seconds elapsed. And there's confirmation of a unanimous sweep of the cards for Gankiag after the first round. One wonders how often he has come across world-class operators such as Ganku Yag, who are able to switch stance mid-flow with no drop-off in quality. So something of a learning experience one suspects for Tapper as Ganku Yag continues to demonstrate his proficiency as a switch hitter. as well as commentating on Gankiag in his global competitions dating back to the World Championships in Doha in 2015. I was also ringside in Tashkent in Uzbekistan at the 2017 Asian Championships when he came away with a silver medal because he was outpointed by a boxer from Uzbekistan during a championships where they almost swept the board. Only the formidable figure of the shaven-headed Kazakhstan warrior Vasily Levit prevailing in the heavyweight division prevented an Uzbekistan an Uzbekistan clean sweep of taking 10 medals out of 10. Gankuyag was outpointed by the formidable Hassan Boydus Matov as Tapper scores with a good southpaw left. But then he's closed down close to the ropes and Gankuyag gets to work to both body and head. And Tashkent, of course, the host city for the next edition of the Aiba World Boxing Championships. But we're only three days into this one, so plenty of time to discuss what comes next in the days and indeed years ahead. But suffice to say, it's a passionate boxing enclave. is the Uzbekistan capital and indeed the whole nation. Gankiyeg just content to go onto the back foot. He's invited pressure from Tapa. Tapa enjoying some single shot successes during the course of the round. 
don't think he's done enough to take it. But he's certainly showing that he is not going to be overawed by the opponent or the stage on which he is competing. Rabin Tapper from Nepal. Well, two rounds completed. Both of them scored unanimously in favor of Ganku Yag. Some of the action then from the second round. Different looks being presented by Ganku Yag. Switching between orthodox and southpaw. Sometimes going onto the back foot and inviting pressure. Other times coming forward with swarming clusters of punches such as that. I think just demonstrating to the relatively or comparatively inexperienced tapper that he's the governor in there. So into the third and final round then. Rabin Tapper, who won the national selection tournament to uh, represent his nation at the World Championships in Kathmandu earlier this year, is acquitting himself uh, competently here against a man appearing in his third Aiba World Boxing Championships. As Vasily Egorov of Russia, who outpointed Gankiag on his World Championship debut in Doha in Qatar six years ago. Good right hand to the body turned underneath from Ganka Yag. But again, when you consider that he's mixed with Hassan Boydos Matov and Yuburgen Martinez and Vasily Egorov, really showing the caliber of opponent that he has faced over the years and he's competitive with all of them. So this is a really difficult mission for the young man from Nepal, but he's showing that he's enjoying his work, often going about it with a half smile on his face. That can be infuriating if you're the opponent who's facing off against it. Equally, it can be something of a tell. Because if the expression changes from something other than what it was, even though it may be a contemptuous grin, you can be sure that it's registered and got a reaction. Nicely picked south, Paul Lair from Tapper, but as he was working away upstairs, you see that shot downstairs has troubled him. It may way have, well have been low, but just betrayed a little bit of bad body language there. The referee is in the boxing ring to keep an eye on proceedings, but the reaction may well invite Gankayag to target the body once again. So Gankiag bombing away with the backhand to back up Tapper. Tapper holds his ground and tries to come back with a counter southpaw left. But every time he lets his hands go, Tapper, increasingly Gankiag is targeting the body just as he did there. And look at the burst of activity of shoe shine shots. That was a pile driving right cross that backs up Tapper. Tapper trying to bob and weave, but he's being put under pressure by his own corner post. And you can see him wide-eyed and Gankiag almost helping him out there, breaking away from the clinch, not continuing to apply the pressure, but you saw Tapper blinking furiously. But credit to him, he steps right back into the pocket, regains his shape, and went to work with a double southpaw jab and left cross to the body. Valuable learning experience this for young R Rabin Tapper. Hasn't been boxing very long at all, and that is wonderful to see. A real barometer laid down by Gankiag Ganerdin, showing Tapper that there are levels to Aiba style boxing, and this man consistently near the top of it. Quarter finalist in the last, excuse me, in his two previous appearance, appearances at the World Championships, making it through to the Olympic Games as well, continental medalist, a whole host of national titles. So comfortable progression through to the round of 16 for Gankiag from Mongolia. Both boxers just having their gloves removed as we await the official announcement when the athletes make their way to center ring.
So there's confirmation of a unanimous point decision victory for Mongolia's Ganer Dengankieg, the man in his third appearance at a senior world boxing championships, taking every round for all five of the scoring judges. Judge number three scoring the final round 10-8 in favor of the Mongolian boxer Rabin Tapa. Showed terrific determination and no little skill during the course of that contest, but he's coming up against a man who knows far too much for him at this, the early stage of his career. Remember, he only began boxing in 2016. As we take a look at some of the action that unfolded over the course of that three three-minute round minimum weight bout. 